Today, our lives are increasingly intertwined with mobile devices. Most people check their phones some 220 times a day. But one thing they almost never check is how secure the mobile apps they are downloading are. As mobile technology becomes more advanced, so do the security attacks of those who want to exploit mobile technology, creating a multitude of troubling scenarios. Let's look at one. Greg gets an email that he thinks is from his friend Sonia, recommending a mobile healthcare application. Seems harmless enough, but what Greg and Sonia don't know is that her email has been hijacked in an elaborate phishing scheme. Phishing is the attempt to gain sensitive information by masquerading as a trusted source. Unaware, Greg clicks on the healthcare email link and is directed to a site that mimics the actual healthcare site. Now his troubles really begin. He unwittingly downloads a version of the healthcare app that is bundled with malware. Malware is short for malicious software. That is, software that damages or gains sensitive information from a device. The malware in this case infiltrates the operating system and applications on Greg's phone, allowing hackers to not only easily read his personal data, but to use what's called social engineering to tap into his personal network. The maker of the real healthcare app is also unaware of how their app is being misused. So how can they, or any maker of mobile apps, prevent this situation from happening? Quite simply, they must take steps to build applications in a secure fashion. First, they must prevent data leakage, the loss or unauthorized transfer of any sensitive information, your address, date of birth, credit card information, social security number. How? By ensuring that all important data is encrypted. Beyond this encryption, an SDK, or software development kit, is used to incorporate security enhancements during the development process that helps manage the behavior of the application itself. Another step after development is app wrapping. This adds multiple security layers of protection without making any changes to the app itself and allows the app manager to set specific policy elements. For example, Greg may want to cut and paste in his healthcare policy number, but the SDK surrounding the app will force him to type in the information so his data is not exposed. The next step involves testing for vulnerabilities and risk. A security testing tool checks where sensitive data is stored and also identifies where the data leaves the app. Often, developers store data in areas like log files that persist after the app closes. Once a secure mobile application is built, it still needs to be protected. Because when an app has been released, a company can no longer control what happens to it. We call this protecting data in the wild. One way of doing this is known as obfuscation, or hiding information so that it is almost impossible for an attacker to go in, find and change the code, and then repackage it with malware. Mobile security is a very dynamic process, requiring thorough wrapping, testing, and obfuscation to stay one step ahead of clever hackers who want to steal the most important thing any of us carry around, our personal information.